Hi, I'm Brenda Kurtwright. Welcome to the Brenda Kurtwright and Associates YouTube channel, where we focus on mild cognitive impairment and ways to maintain a healthy brain. If you're new, welcome aboard to the community. And if you are coming back, thank you for coming back. I hope that you find this information valuable and that you subscribe to this channel to help grow the community of people who are interested in mild cognitive impairment. So what is mild cognitive impairment? It is cognitive decline while maintaining activities of daily living, such as being able to manage a budget, maintain chores, do your laundry, be able to cook, be able to maintain your hygiene, or any combination of those. Maybe not all of those things, but some of those things. So socialization is one of the important factors of helping to maintain a healthy brain. Studies show that social isolation can lead to stress and increased chances of neurological diseases, such as Alzheimer's disease. Studies also show that animals who have a lack of socialization are more likely to have a decline in memory. So what do you do? The goal is to try to increase the quality of relationships. It's not a quantity game. It's about trying to have conversations with other people about things that bring you joy, a book that you've read, a movie that you've seen, a song that you like, and simple conversations about those things and reciprocating with other people, listening to their ideas about those type of things that they're doing or the other type of things that they're doing in their lives. Joining groups such as committees that might be related to your community, civic organizations like the YMCA, places of worship, basically getting engaged in something, plugging into something where other people are. And there are things that you can do online as well. All of those things, you don't have to show up. I know it's COVID, so we have to be very mindful of what we're doing. So there are things that you can be doing virtually. All of those things can be virtual, connected opportunities for you to engage with other people. The key is to talk to other people and not isolate yourself. Find a way to have a conversation with a neighbor, uh, with a friend, with family, and to share your thoughts. Not be afraid to do so. Sometimes it might feel like, oh, someone might not want to talk to me, but people are probably as apprehensive as you are about talking. But if you break the ice and just reach out and ask a person how they are doing, you'll be surprised how happy they will be to have somebody to engage with. Sometimes you have to be the one to reach out. So I'm going to encourage you to do that. So if you do that, please share with this community how that went. And let's see if that can be an inspiration to someone. I'm going to guess it will be. So please share your experiences. There's no experience that's too small to inspire another person here. So I want to thank you for joining me today. And I am hoping that you take the steps to reach out to others. And baby steps can just be saying hello to a neighbor who you don't ever speak to. There's nothing wrong with making change by reaching out to another person. And it will benefit your brain in the process. So thank you for joining. And I look forward to engagement with you in the future. Have a good day. Bye-bye.